right hello everyone this is balu okay now let us discuss about the what is the basic width of like uh, payments okay for example if you see any single lane road in your uh, daily life or uh, whatever the village you are living basically there is a mostly single lane roads in villages itself that single lane width is nothing but 3.75 meters okay remember this uh, like uh, dimensions in future if you are uh, allowed to solve any problems in highway engineering like these things are very very important to solve any problem in highway engineering these are the basic concepts okay for example if you have any multi lanes if you uh, go if you are going to for any hanamkonda or warangal district any other uh, uh, well developed city you have multi lane roads remember this thing like for every lane each and every lane that lane must be 3.5 meters wide if you have any lanes any number of lanes but it must be 3.5 meters only it may be two lane road three lane road any road but each lane must be 3.5 meters okay for example if you have these raised curbs okay you can see in my ppt these are the raised curbs for example if you have two lane road with raised curbs then remember this point this is also very important then you have 7.5 meters wide then the pavement is 7.5 meters wide remember two lane road with raised curbs okay these are the curbs you can see these are the curbs raised portions like to control the traffic flow and also to separate the traffic these curbs are constructed across the road okay next coming to the next thing that is shoulder and footpath yes here you can see this is the shoulder portion right yes and this is the footpath basically these footpaths are the regions of the pavement which are for pedestrians itself the people who are walking on the road they are allowed to walk in this region this is nothing but footpath okay next thing is that is shoulder yes why we have to construct this shoulder and remember this thing like uh, minimum width of shoulder is nothing but 2.5 meters this is recommended by irc and this question came directly in gate 18 i think 2018 or 19 direct question that is nothing but numerical question you have to type the number the, there is no options you have to give the numerical answer in gate exam okay 2.5 meters wide as per irc minimum width of shoulder okay and also you have minimum width of footpath that is 1.5 meters 1.5 meters is the minimum width of footpath and also the desirable is 2 meters desirable means uh, you can up to if if you are comfortable like you can provide 2 meters also it will be helpful for pedestrians to walk but you have to provide at least minimum that is 1.5 meters that is what i have to say right we are leaving this portion across the pavement then what is the purpose of leaving this area what is the purpose of this shoulder uh, don't we construct road without shoulder yes these things we have to know now okay like first thing is for structural stability and support of the edges like whatever the edges you are seeing here for the support of this edges we have to construct this shoulders and also to increase the capacity of road and also operating speed for that purpose also we have to construct shoulders like capacity means number of vehicles like as the shoulder is provided you can expect more number of vehicles to allow on the road that is the thing okay and also the vehicles can move fastly like a uh, uh, compared to without shoulder okay and also service lanes what is a service lane for example if when you are uh, riding a motor bike or any truck on the road suddenly you have your car is given a trouble it may be car truck or anything example i am telling that then you want to park this vehicle you can't park directly on the pavement right for this purpose these shoulders are used you can park your vehicle on the shoulder okay they are also they have uh, this bearing capacity to like uh, they can sustain the load whatever the car where or where truck or any bike okay this is a thing also i want to say all right you can see this is the median this median basically to 
avoid head on collision like for example vehicles can travel in this direction and coming vehicles can travel in this direction then these vehicles can collide if there is no median especially for high traffic flow roads that's why this median is provided okay and also absolute minimum width of median in urban area is 1.2 meters and desirable minimum is 5 meters remember these things uh, like uh, this is not all important but whatever the things which are recommended by irc is very very important but for your like knowledge purpose i am saying this all points that is 1.2 meters is a like uh, in urban area that is minimum width and also desirable is 5 meters 1.2 and also 5 remember this numbers next thing that is cycle track yes why we have to provide this cycle track that is nothing but in some areas the whatever the cycle uh, traffic volume is very high for that purpose they can leave this uh, weight uh, like uh, width for especially for bicycles itself in case of high traffic for bicycles okay then the cycle track width is 2 meters that is minimum width is 2 meters remember this thing also 